Hey guys, so today we are going to answer a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, is it worth learning React Native? So let's get into it. So now this is a it's a pretty loaded question and it's one that is very tricky to learn or it's tricky to answer that one because it's very open uh, because the first question like the first question I have in response to this question is all right if it's worth learning, what would you otherwise be learning? Like, what's the what's the contrast? Like, what's the other uh, consideration? Because if you're asking me if it's worth learning this, I mean, it's the same thing as asking, is it worth learning JavaScript? Is it le worth learning Ruby? Is it worth learning PHP? I mean, it depends your, on your situation. I mean, all of this, all of these technologies have a relevancy. Is it worth learning C++? Uh, well, yeah, I would say so, depending on what your goal is. So assuming, because if you ask specifically if it's worth learning React Native or not, I'm going to have to make a few assumptions. All right. The first assumption I will make is that you are specifically interested in mobile development, because that's the purpose of this specific tool. So if we consider that, that as being the focus of this question, I would say that it once again it very much depends on your previous background because if you are today starting out as a complete beginner and you are asking whether or not you should go into React Native in order to do mobile development if you don't have any prior knowledge I would urge you to not start there mainly because the way that React Native works if you're not already very good at React, and unless you're pretty solid within your JavaScript, React Native will, although it will provide you with a way for producing mobile applications, it may not be the best way, in my personal opinion, to start if you want to do specifically mobile. That is, of course, not true all the time, but just let me walk you through it. You see, React Native is a wrapper. It's a wrapper technology on top of the actual APIs that the, your mobile devices are using, like the actual thing that is running on your mobile device. It is not the same thing as knowing how to write, say, Java or Kotlin or Swift or Objective-C for the different devices. And although some people may think so, that it's the exact same thing, it's actually not, because the, un the way that React Native works is not the way that you would like the the quality in uh, performance and a few other aspects actually do differ when you're writing something in native code versus writing it in react native now it's not a bad thing to write in react native it's just that you have a you, you're limited in comparison there are limitations that you get with react native that you don't get if you know how to use the actual native apis and the native uh, programming languages so with that in mind, if your goal is to be a really strong, solid mobile developer, I would suggest that you start by looking into the actual device languages to start off with if you're starting fresh. Because although React Native is very popular, and it's popular for a good reason, I mean, it's not, it, it is popular, but it is not on par with the value that you will have from actually knowing the native languages, I will argue. The demand is out there, and the demand is there because React Native allows you to, well, in theory, it allows you to do two things. Like the, those, the two biggest benefits to it is that number one, you're allowed to, or you're able to produce mobile experiences for both of like both ios and for android that's a very powerful incentive but it's also secondary that it's allowing it's going to allow you to have javascript developers or front-end developers call them whatever you want to be able to produce results with these different platforms without having to actually know the native programming languages now that might be a very good thing for a lot of people but there's qu quite there's like the the market is still dominated by the actual native development uh, processes, the uh, native languages. So unless you have a very specific goal, I will tell you that 
it's probably better to start with one of the native languages because at the very least you will have you will have knowledge of the actual like the actual platform that you are working on and i think that's a lot more valuable in the beginning of things when you're a complete beginner as opposed to learning a very specific tool because remember react native is just a it's just a wrapper technology that allows you to produce this sort of like the uh, like a native feeling application but it's not the actual code and not the actual API that is going to be used on the device. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that it's not that one is better than the other. It's more that React Native is a very specific way of doing mobile development. Just as React is a very specific way of doing web development. And although it is useful to know this, it's a very, like the React ecosystem is very, very popular. I think that as a beginner, it's more important for you to actually understand how you build a mobile application. And the fact, like, you're still going to have, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're an iOS developer or an Android developer, there's tons of opportunities out there. There are, of course, also opportunities for a React Native developer, but I will say that I my personal opinion is that react native was not designed to be the f to be the first choice for a mobile developer i think that you should have a strong foundation in mobile development before you go into react native or possibly already a strong foundation in web development and just regular react development because as i said it's a very specific way of doing mobile development so what i want you to take away from this is that i there ab there's absolutely a value in learning react native it has it has a fair bit of relevancy in the work in the workforce so if you already know mobile development and you want to look into it or if you already pretty good at react or javascript and that stuff it's a great thing to have a look at but if you're starting completely fresh i urge you to actually learn a real mobile development before you go into go into react native or at the very least learn real web development before you use it because remember it's just a framework wrapper around the actual underlying technologies and it's a very good idea to have a solid understanding of the underlying technology before you start using it have a great day